you'll never guess the purpose of this strange little passageway that I've found myself in. It's basically a way of measuring how high the Nile is. Inside this cylindrical basin, the water will flow out of these two uh, systems here. And it will slowly begin to rise, where it will eventually be measured by this gigantic measuring stick. This is called the Nilometer. And it allows us to understand how much the Nile is giving us this year. It allows us to understand the level of the Nile indentation this for this year, and thus the amount of taxes that need to be leveled on the people. Climb back up here. some meters above me, you can see the ceiling, which is of Islamic design. But at some point, I think that this Nilometer might have been um, Pharaonic or built by the pharaohs. There are many Nilometers on the Nile, ways of measuring the level of the Nile. The stairs are quite steep and it's quite a drop. So you really, 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 there's no room for error in here. So the water will actually go like this through this shallow passageway, which you can barely see, but it's it's there. Um, at which point, at which point it will um, not be in prison, but will enter the Nile of here. Now, as we descend the Nile here, we go full 10 meters underground, uh, which is below the water line of the uh, Nile. If we look closely, we can see that there's some sludge uh, at the top, and that sludge marking is the uh, high water mark of the Nile. Uh, over, the, over the course of many centuries, uh, every year, the Nile rising and leaving another layer of sludge. Now you might be wondering, why does it go from this wonderful spherical uh, part to a much more square part here? Well, the reason why is because the water flows in and it goes in a circle around the uh, column, around the center. And so it doesn't wear out. And then it, the water is allowed to slow down because of that. And then eventually it reaches the part that's uh, square or cubic. And um, that causes the water to actually settle. Otherwise, the water would actually rush in uh, too much. And um, over time, things would uh, degrade even faster. Now, this nilometer is no longer in use. And that's because of the building of the Aswan High Dam system which uh, prevents the Nile inundation from actually happening anymore. Nowadays, Egyptian farmers uh, don't use the Nile to fertilize their crops. They, they use the water, but they use uh, petroleum-based fertilizers uh, to grow their crops these days. Now, there's one last thing. This Nilometer is located on a place called Rhoda Island. Now, Rhoda Island is named after, of course, the Isle of Rhodes which also happens to be where I'm from, Rhode Island, in uh, the United States of America. So you see there's a Rhode Island in every country. <laughs>